an issue around the Middle East conflict, right? In your party, how easy is it for that conversation to take place about whether or not utterances you've made in public should stand, should not stand? H how's that assessment? How does that work in your well, party? Well, uh, uh, everyone is most welcome to, to, uh, to, to give their own uh, impression. Actually, the other day on... Friday, I think, or I was in the Eastern Cape, and one of our colleagues, uh, after the, the judgment, uh, sent me a note that we need to issue a, a press statement. And I said, uh, my response to him, I said, look, let me tell you, my friend, right now, South Africa, 80 people are being murdered every single day. Uh, every 11 minutes, a woman is raped in this country. Drug cartels are destroying our youth and our families. We have not dealt uh, with, the, with the level of corruption with the Zondo the Commission. We've had the Ma Marikanya. I said, our house is burning. I said, any normal human being, when your house is burning, and then while it's in the burning, a life-threatening situation, you see your neighbor's house uh, catching fire. Are you, as a normal human being, going to leave your house uh, putting the lives of your family at risk? Or am I going, are you going to deal with, uh, 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 with uh, your, uh, saving your family and whatever in your house before you can go and uh, uh, help uh, the neighbor? And that's my position. Right now, my focus, I said, it's 100% on South African issue. Our house is burning. And, so, and, and, and anyone who's going to, to, to think that you're going to distract me uh, to really focus on issues when the lives of, of, of uh, my family is at risk, I'm not going to take that chance. I said, uh, let uh, the, the people deal with it. But, however, I'm saying from a human point of view, I pray every single day that uh, uh, the, the Jewish and the Palestinians, one day there can be a leadership to emerge that can learn to coexist. So you don't believe that you can chew and walk at the same time? That if you become the leader of government, the leader of the country, that you can attend to things, and I'm not focusing on ANC failures, because those are quite clear for everyone to see, but you don't believe that if you, to, you were to take government tomorrow, you can look at what's happening in your realm of existence locally and still participate fully as a member of a geopolitical community. You are unable to navigate those two things. Yeah, Is because that yes, because uh, when when you're in government, you'll have the Department of uh, Foreign Affairs or whatever. Which is what we have now. Yes, that's what I'm saying. So right now, so that I'm a that political party that is still time. outside, that the house is burning by our own government, uh, which is trying to distract our attention. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to be I'm not going to be distracted uh, by that to get uh, deeply involved in those issues. Because once I get this is, is a very dis uh, this is a very divisive uh, issue. Uh, whatever statement you're going to make, I would rather than people say, uh, I'm, I'm quiet on this matter. But one thing for sure, I'm going to talk to people of Makana, I'm going to talk to people of Haramut, or Soweto. Friday, I'm spending uh, the whole day in Soweto. People of Soweto are facing massive challenges of unemployment, drugs, uh, that rape, and so forth. I'm, going to, uh, I'm not going to let anyone disrupt me from getting people of Soweto to really understand that, guys. We, we're gonna if, if this problem has got to be sorted out please go and register to vote let's vote this government out i'm not going to be disrupted by anything else number one on action essays candidate list feels it's a distraction to be asked about other things happening in the world yet you feel you're fit to be a president of a country in a geopolitical community where every leader has multiple demands that they need to speak to him in. I'm not You're going saying to... it's a distraction. I'm saying to you, you say to us as the electorate, you are fit to vote, you are fit to lead. Fit to lead means nothing is a distraction. Everything is worthy of your attention. It might not get equal parts of your attention, but it must get attention. Your answer to me says that if you were to be voted president tomorrow, you are going to struggle with the load that's put on your hands. Uh, you know, that's uh, your answer. No, Based purely on your uh, answer, uh, not to experience no, your answer. You see, uh, 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 TD, mm. you, know, you need to listen to me and listen uh, carefully. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be distracted uh, right now to, to put out the fire uh, uh, in my house when the lives of my family uh, it's it, it's a, it's at risk. And and I'm not and and uh, and one thing I'm not prepared to do. And and that's something I've learned in life. If you want to succeed in life, don't do what everybody else does. 
Because why people actually fail, majority of people fail, be in business or whatever. Because what they do, they want to do what everybody, you know, so they are prepared to just follow. No, I don't you operate that like that. I'm a, I'm a focused person. When I'm focused on an issue, I focus on that issue, then I can get on to the next one. Right now, I can tell you we are facing the most important elections ever. So my focus, 100%, and I'm unapologetic about it, is to make sure that South African can wake up to understand that they are the ones who are going to actually save uh, this country and save the future of uh, future generations. Do you think the South Africans who care about what's happening in the Middle East are distracted? It is up to them. Let, it is up to them. They, you know, uh, we live in a democratic space. I, I'm not really de depriving them of that opportunity. If they want to discuss it, let them go ahead, uh, CD. But then, then they, they mustn't want me. I must just follow them uh, when I'm not sure where they're going. Please, uh, I think and, uh, if they don't that like it, 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 it matters to you them. You want not to be a president. It matters what you do and what you choose to prioritize. I don't understand how that's what, difficult. What, to, hold on. I understand why that's difficult to understand. You want to lead. The electorate has the right to ask you those questions and to wonder about your approach. But it's not that you you're not. Lead. But you're not the electorate. Uh, I, I am a voter I'm, in this country. Yes, you, but about? yeah, yes. I'm but one of the voters. Yes, yes, absolutely. And I don't deprive so you of that opportunity. You that so you view. ask you as as a what are as you a actually voter. Arguing? So ask I mean, ask me as a voter because I'm daily. I represent the voter. This conversation is not for my benefit. <laughs> it's TD, for the TD, You said you get TD, insights I'm, from these I'm, I'm on the ground your every day. Your future voter is listening, trying to figure out where you stand. I, and I, you're refusing on the basis of, hey, I'm trying to distract you. But I represent your voter in this very moment, I mean. And you're failing to recognize that as a voter, one has the right to ask you about that approach and how and, you and deal I, with it and, I, and to be critical of your response. And, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm not really denying you asking that question, but I expect you also, you, you must respect uh, how I feel that my focus right now, I'm, I'm in daily contact, I'm on the ground uh, more than any other politician in, the, in this country. And I can tell you the interest of South Africans right now is to say, please, uh, Herman, save us uh, from this fire. Our okay. house is burning.